Welcome to Channel 18 News. I'm Jim Rogers. Three people were arrested Monday afternoon in Silver Springs by the Special Crimes Unit as they received information regarding the location of Nathan Josiah Gabby, age 33, at Silver Springs. Gabby was wanted on a felony warrant. Officers observed a white passenger vehicle matching the description of Gabby's personal vehicle at a residence in the 800 block of College Street. As the homeowner, Mikola Diane Moss, age 32, was leaving the location, she told officers that Gabby was inside the house. Detectives and officers made contact with Gabby and he was taken into custody. With consent to search his bedroom, investigators found suspected methamphetamine, marijuana, and a large amount of drug paraphernalia. Also in the residence was Randy Lynn Webb, age 34, of Sulphur Springs. All three individuals were arrested. Gabby was arrested for possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, and he was also arrested on probation violation for Raines County. Moss was arrested for possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, as was Webb. Fleeing a DPS trooper on County Road 4724 at speeds between 60 and 70 miles per hour, Jose Alejandro Gomez Murillo, age 19 of Silver Springs, failed to negotiate a 90-degree turn and struck a fence. The vehicle came to rest in a ravine in a pasture. When taken into custody, Gomez Murillo was smoking a marijuana cigarette. Later, two plastic baggies containing suspected marijuana were found in the ravine where the Chevrolet 1500 pickup had stopped. With all the windows in an upright position, the DPS trooper surmised the marijuana was intentionally placed away from the vehicle driven by Gomez Murillo. Gomez Murillo is in Hopkins County Jail charged with evading arrest, detention with a vehicle, damper fabricate physical evidence, and possession of marijuana less than two ounces. He's held on a total of $41,000 in bonds. He was in Hopkins County Jail earlier in October of this year for possession and for fraudulent use possession of identifying information less than five items. Cumby police arrested Michael Anthony Williams, age 50, of Sulphur Springs for possession of a controlled substance, penalty group one, less than one gram, possession of a dangerous drug, and driving while license invalid. Williams was driving a vehicle with a defective license plate when he passed the stationary Cumby police officer on westbound service road of I-30 at the 499 overpass. When, uh, when it was found his vehicle or his license was invalid, the officer began the arrest procedure. The pat-down revealed two white round pills identified as Trezodon and an inventory of the vehicle found a small clear baggie containing a white powdery substance believed to be cocaine in the center console of the, 20, of the 2005 Chevy Blazer. Walking from Hot Springs, Arkansas to Dallas to raise awareness of diabetes, Eric Bindel was in Silver Springs on Jefferson Street when Channel 18 videographer Doug Haston caught up with him. I'm walking from Hot Springs to Dallas, Texas, Hot Springs, Arkansas to Dallas, Texas for diabetes awareness, an effort to get everyone to walk every day, take care of themselves, and uh, to prevent, control, turn diabetes around. I lost my mother to diabetes. She was only age 54. My uncle is 93, also diabetic since before I could remember and I'm 56 and uh, he is uh, surviving with diabetes taking care of himself there for his grandchildren and all and uh, it, again it's my effort to get remind everybody to walk every day keep diabetes away or under control sometimes turn it around with diet and exercise okay what's the purpose of the big globe I was playing with my son in the park 20 years ago with a ball this is a replacement to, uh, similar to this, and everyone thought I needed a cause. Local reporter, back when newspaper was king, interviewed me and had known my mother. She was a state representative, had passed away at the age of 54 from complications from diabetes. And uh, after talking about my mother dying from diabetes and people thinking I should go on some charitable walk for some reason, diabetes seemed like a perfect fit. And now, 12 years of walking, I've walked in 48 states and, and uh, quit keeping track at 6,000 miles. This will, this will join a line from Louisville, Kentucky, where that is my home, to Dallas. And I could also join that line to Naples, Florida. So 
after walking in all the lower 48, I'm just connecting dots. How did you finance all this? I'm a carpenter back at home, and I just uh, uh, collect my money and pay my bills. And, and uh, on my vacation, this is, I left, uh, I left Hot Springs the Monday after Thanksgiving. I've had about three days of, three days of rain, and uh, I hope to get back to Mary Ellen's arms get back in Kentucky and uh, before New Year's. We've got a dance to do in New Year's. And uh, I, after 12 years of honoring my mother, I, I figured I'd, I'd tell, spread a little more love, you know, tell everybody I'm in love with Mary Ellen. <laughs> All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't forget about Mary Ellen. Oh, and love yourself. Go for a walk. <laughs> there you go. All right. Have a great day. Thanks for watching Channel 18 News. Have a great evening.